country that we are chosen is Republic of Indonesia, located on the north of Java. Indonesia is located in South East Asia. The population in Indonesia has the world's fourth largest population after China, India, and the United States, totaling an estimated 238,552,952 individuals in July 2004, with a 1.5% annual population growth rate. 69% of the population live in the rural areas. Java is the one of the most densely populated areas in the world, with more 120 million people, or some 945% per square kilometers. By contrast, the most densely populated outer island have 90% of fewer per square kilometer. Jakarta on the western end of Java is the largest city with an estimated population of 11.4 million in mid-2001. Ethnic group in Indonesia is a culturally very diverse nation. Ethnic identities are not always clear or agree. Ethnic group may appear or profess to be more distinct socially or culturally than they actually are. But there are about 350 recognized ethno-linguistic groups in Indonesia. 180 of them located in Papua. 13 languages have more than 1 million speakers. Japanese make up 45% of the population. Sardinese 40%, Maduras 7.5%, Costa Malay 7.5%, and the others is 36%. The language official in the no Indonesia, which is Bahasa Indonesian. A modified form of Malay with an estimated 17 million to 13 million mother tongue speakers and more than 140 million second language speakers or readers. Additionally, as many as 725 other languages and dialects are spoken. Some have large number of speakers. Japanese, 75 million. Sundays, 27 million. Maduras, 14 million. And Malay, 10 million. Other languages with more than 6 library of Congress. Federal Research, Research Division Country Profile the Indonesia December 2004 1 million speaker each in descending order are Minangkabau, Balinese, Bugis, Aceh, Batawi, Bajaris, Sasa, Toba, Bata, Chinese of various dialects, Makassar, Lampung Dairi, Bata, and Rajak. Since independence and particularly since 1965, English has replaced the Dutch as the main Western language spoken and widely used in government personally circles. Religion in the religion in Indonesia has the largest Islamic population of any nation. Most Indonesian 88% count themselves as Muslim and observe Islamic practices to varying degrees. Another 5% Indonesians are Protestants, 3% are Roman Catholic, 2% are Hindu. 1% are Buddhist and 1% of them are other religions. In some remote areas, animism is practiced, the constitution guarantees religious freedom, the five religious the mentioned recognized by the state. In 2002, the People Cons Consultative Assembly, Majlis Pushawarawatan Rakyat, rejected a proposal to introduce Islamic law constitutional requirement. Thus, a little introduction to the background of the Indonesian state. In microeconomic factors in Indonesia, the country has and is going through a difficult phase, especially in the form of the inflation and, and unemployment. In this video, we provide a summary of macroeconomic issues and well a discussion of macroeconomic theory in Indonesia. Today, I want to talk about the summary of macroeconomic issues in Indonesia. Inflation. Inflation is one of macroeconomic indicators because an important issue among economies. Inflation is the tendency increase in average price in general. Inflation is a rise of all price. So, a policy related to inflation is a policy relating to price stabilization. Phenomena in Indonesia actually is not the short phenomenon that is only happened in 
suddenly. In fact, the same general problem are happen in other developing countries. The inflation problem in Indonesia is kind of long-term inflation that caused by structure of economy obscure, influenced by many factors. Some of the factors which is influence developing economy is the level of inflation rate. Main factor that cause inflation rate in Indonesia are fluctuation of fuel price, growth of money supply, and growth of gross domestic product. Indonesia is one developing country that economy condition tend to go up and down, which is also called fluctuation that caused by domestic and global effect. If developed countries face crisis, so this crisis will be impact of developing countries directly. For example, crisis that happened in United States in 2008, this crisis directly impact on ASEAN countries, include Indonesia. Second macroeconomic issue that I want to talk is unemployment issues in Indonesia. Unemployment is a term referring to individuals who are unemployable and seeking a job but are unable to find a job. Furthermore, unemployment is often used as a measure of the health of the economy. The most frequent measure of unemployment is the unemployment rate, which is the number of unemployable people divided by the number of people in the labor force. Indonesia unemployment rate increased to 7.07% in August 2020 from the previous reported number of 5.28% in August 2019. Indonesia unemployment rate is updated yearly available from August 1984 to August 2020. Average rate is 5.94%. The data reach an all time high of 11.24% in August 2005 and a record low of 1.62% in August 1984. The data is reported by Central Bureau of Statistics. How to solve the unemployment in Indonesia? First, to solve the capital accumulation problem, the banking should be directed to accelerate investment trading. This may be done by creating special incentives for the banking, such as lower assessment on the Balance Activa Coding Rubies (BTMR). Besides, to make the real sector relationship is more productive. With the capital market, it seems that the cap market capitalization should be supported more from the total share, not from the price. Special tax facility may be provided to com companies issuing share in the Indonesia Stock Exchange. Second, the government sim cannot totally depend on the market mechanism. There should be 
hand on strategy, especially designed to return the level of unemployment to the long term balance direction. Global experience show that the level of unemployment will tend to get worse and last for a long time is not handled appropriately. It is the interest of Indonesia. People do not get trapped in a situation similar with the unemployment pattern of West Europe. How to solve inflation in Indonesia? The first one is step to control uh, inflation. <clears throat> maintaining uh, maintaining volatile food inflation between four to one percent through uh, through effort to strengthening the populace of strategy, which is um, price affordability, supply availability, smooth distribution, and effective communication in the line 2019 to 2021 national uh, inflation control roadmap. This uh, the implementation the implementation uh, of this strategy is to reduce price. Dispar- disparity between time zone and between religion, uh, between regions. Maintaining supply and smooth distribution, especially ahead of the national, uh, ahead of the national religious holiday, and strengthening agricultural institution, accompanied by capacity of building, financing, and development of agricultural uh, digit. Development of digital ag- uh, agricultural um, ecosystem. <clears throat> the second one is increase the effective effectiveness of social assistance programs in the form of conditional cash transfer and subsidies, so it can maintain uh, Indonesian citizen uh, purchasing power. The third one is strengthening communication synergy uh, to support the management of public expectation. The last. The last one is strengthening the coordination of central and regional government in controlling inflation through the national uh, coordination meeting on inflation control in June 2020 with the team price stability toward, uh, towards onwards Indonesia working together to increase uh, food availability through corporatization and digitalization of um, MSMEs. The second one is strategy to keep the inflation rate between 3.5% to 1%. The first, there are several steps. The first step is to maintain the price affordability, supply availability, smooth distribution, and effective communication. In the National uh, Inflation Control Roadmap 2019 to 2021, the policy is pursued by giving priority to supply availability and smooth distribution which is supported by more conductive ecosystem and the availability of accurate data. The second step is strengthening the implication of the National Inflation Roadmap, Controlling Roadmap 2019 to 2021 and also implementing the roadmap for inflation control at the regional level. Um, the last one is strengthen the coordination of the central and regional government in controlling inflation by having discussion or meeting of the national uh, inflation control coordination. In conclusion, inflation and employment are not good for a country's economy because as a result, the country's income is declining and the people of the country will start to be burdened. We can learn that inflation and unemployment in, Indi- in Indonesia are recovering even though they are not good at first. Therefore, as citizens of our country, we must strive to help the government in improving the country's economy. Thank you.